Hi guys, Tina Killerin. Just wanted to um, get back to you on how I structure my day and how I structure my power hour relative to how I work my beach body business um, based on our Zoom call from last night. And I'm glad that you guys get the opportunity to kind of see what Chris, Kim, and I do for each of our days. Um, so a couple of things for you guys to note. Um, not everybody applies the same amount of time to their beach body businesses. Um, some people have more time to spend working their businesses and some people have less. Um, it doesn't really matter how much, well, I mean, it does matter how much time you spend working your business, um, but as long as you're giving it your full effort during the time that you are working your business, you will be effective and you will grow a very successful business, okay? Um, so while we say a power hour, a power hour is great to build your business, to get you going, and to get you moving. Um, I will be honest that once you guys start signing some builders underneath you and your team starts to grow, I will be honest, an hour probably is going to be a really stretch. Is going to be a real stretch for you guys to be able to effectively work your businesses in just an hour. So just kind of keep that in mind as you decide to build and grow your businesses that um, as time goes by and as you get more leaders and more builders on your team, um, you're going to have to be much more effective and much more efficient with your time and um, really kind of work that time management skills, okay? So I definitely want you guys to think about your time management, okay? Um, one of the things that I want you to think about is being effective and efficient while you're spending your time on Facebook, okay? Busy work is not working your business, right? If you're just scrolling through the news feed, seeing what's going on with all of your friends and your family and stuff like that, you're not really working your business. So I want you to be focused, laser focused focused on the tasks that you have at hand, be effective and efficient in the things that you have to do, and um, when all of that stuff is done, then go ahead and scroll the news feed, right? Um, so remember we talked about last night about eating that frog, right? So we eat the biggest and the ugliest frog that we can, and we get those tasks done first. Um, it's the ones that probably take us a little bit longer. Um, it's the ones that we are probably the most uncomfortable with, um, but you know what? It's the stuff that needs to get done, okay? So the way I choose to break up my power hour, now my power hour is probably anywhere from four to six hours a day. I probably work my beach body business. Um, I have the opportunity to do that, um, and I definitely do that more on Mondays and Wednesdays. Tuesday, Thursday, Fridays are a little bit less, um, and then Saturday mornings or Saturday afternoons I tend to do a little bit of stuff, and Sundays... I try really hard to just kind of check in on Sundays, but not really work my business on Sundays, okay, because I need that family time too. Um, and that's something really important that you guys need to be making sure that you're scheduling into your day is your family time, okay? Um, don't forget about your family. It's really important stuff. Okay, so the way we structure our days. Um, I know I mentioned really briefly in our call last night about RSVP. Okay, so if we take our day or our time that we're going to work our beach body business and we're going to divide that time by four. So let's just say you know that you've got a two hour window. Okay, you're going to take your two hour window and you're going to chunk that up into four and you're going to have 30 minutes of everything that you need to do for RSVP. Now, as a new coach, your time is going to be spent a little bit differently. Okay, so let me go through these things with you. So R is recruiting. That's your business opportunity, right? That's how you're going to build an effective um, business and you're going to build a team, right? So it's, busy, it's important for you to be recruiting, okay? S is for sales. Sales are for your challenge packs, um, recruit, um, asking people to your free challenges. Those are your sales things that you have to do. Uh, v is very new people. So if you sign on a new coach or if you sign on a new discount buyer and you need to take time to kind of set them up and get them rolling, that's time that you need to spend there too. And lastly is P, is your performers. Okay, if you have people on your team who are really growing and really running, you need to spend a little bit more time with them to make sure that they are laser focused just like you are. Okay, now for very new coaches like you guys are, um, the V and the P probably take up a little bit less time. So it's more important for us to be focusing on that recruiting and that sales aspect. So regardless of how much time you are spending for your business, I want you to take your R, recruiting, and your S for sales, and I want that to be 75% of your time. Okay, 75% of your time should be spent recruiting and in sales. Okay. And then after that, for your 25%, that's when you're working with your very new people or your performers, or that's when you are checking in with your challenge groups and kind of playing around with your challenge groups a little bit um, and scrolling the news feed, okay, and then forming in there too, okay. But it's very important that, we guys, that you guys focus on the R and the S 
75% of your time. Um, and typically that's what I try and do too. So like I said, got to pick up that biggest and ugliest frog that I have to do. And mine is the business opportunity um, invitations. That's the hardest part for me. Um, and that's usually the first thing that I try and get done on the day. And I usually try and send out two per day every day without fail unless we have a webinar coming up right um or a sneak peek and then i'll send out a little bit more i'll send out a few i'll send anywhere from five to ten per day if i know that we have a webinar or a sneak peek coming up okay um and then my sales um so inviting to my challenge groups whether it's a free or a paid challenge group that takes up the rest of my time and then i go into my challenge groups and then i'm doing my friend requests because the friend requests are the easiest thing to do so that gets pushed to the side right and that's the last thing that i do is those, those friend requests and building my list um, so that's pretty much how I kind of structure my day. If you guys have questions, obviously, you know, post them here in the group, or we can always talk about it in next week's Zoom call, okay? Hope you guys learned a little bit of something, and I guess we'll catch you on the other side. Thanks.